Today you'll see how one image can become a 3D world and how you can film inside it like a real movie set. World Labs just released Marble and it unlocks the possibility for us to finally create consistent environments for our AI movies. Other than inconsistent characters, Inconsistent backgrounds have also been a major issue with AI filmmaking. But now with this new model, anyone can easily turn their image into a persistent navigable 3D world. And when you combine this with the newest image editing technology like Nano Banana and Sea Dream, we can finally create consistent characters in consistent environments. This is a huge step forward in AI filmmaking and I'll show you exactly how to do it. First, we'll create a 3D world using World Labs Marble. Then we'll scout our virtual film set and take screenshots from different angles. Next, we'll use those screenshots as backgrounds to generate our character scenes with the latest image models. And finally, we'll animate everything into a cohesive film sequence. By the end of this video, you'll have a complete workflow that solves AI movies' biggest consistency problem. Let's get started. Before we dive in, I should mention that World Labs Marble is still in beta and you do need to join the waitlist to get access. But the good news is that right now during the beta, it doesn't really consume credits or have official pricing yet. So if you manage to get in, this is the perfect time to experiment. I will drop the link below for you to sign up. World Labs newest model can turn a single image or even just a text prompt into a fully navigable 3D world. And unlike earlier tools, these worlds stay stable and it has less morphing and more consistency. And the environments actually hold together when you move around. It, so it's a good place for us to maintain environmental consistency. Once we get into World Labs, you'll notice there are already a lot of pre-built worlds to explore. Let's get into this underwater scene. It's so cool, you can see, you, you can really see things from all dimensions. Let's get into this spaceship. We can also go into this room. And you'll notice as, as we move around, the details actually stay the same. It was a good foundation for building a consistent environment. Let's try this Hobbit world. I always wanted to live in one of these when I was a kid, so this is super cool. And look at that. Uh, you can see a full 360 degree render. To navigate in this world, it really feels like a game. If you click the control button, you'll see all the keys to use to navigate around. If you're a gamer, you should be familiar with the WASD way to move, or you can use also the arrow on your keyboard to move around. And then use the space to go up, control to go down. And if you ever wander off the grid, we can click zero to reset to the original point. Let's push in a little closer. Now you can't actually open doors. It doesn't generate what's behind them yet for now. So if you try to walk through, you'll just end up in emptiness here. It's kind of like hitting the edge of the Truman Show. And also the further you get away, the more you may find a low poly placeholder kind of situations like this. But as long as you stay near the starting point, everything looks good. We can click the info icon to see the original image. So other than the original image, all, everything else is imagined. And also the model used. And the AI world guide filling in the missing details that are not on the image here. You'll also notice download options here for 3D developers like SPZ and POY files. But for our workflow, all we really need is simply the screenshot button. Now let's create our own world. Here we can upload an image choose a preset from the images that they already have or just type in a text prompt here. If you go with text, it will first generate images. You pick one and then it will build the world from that. Let's try the mini model for this one. It only takes 45 seconds. The resolution isn't the greatest, but it's so fast and you can iterate ideas so soon. Let's see this image with the 0.1 plus model. Look at this. Let's look at the other side as well. I'm so impressed that it matched the building style here to the original image. And the whole scene is so well connected together. I would definitely want to live here. And this is the world I'm going to use as my movie set. 
from here, the next step is to think like a director. So you have to decide on your shots and move into that position. And then we just click this button to take screenshot at different angles. So it's like, it's like scouting a film set for the shots you need for your story. So the funny thing here is there's no door on this one. So if you weren't AI, you'll probably freeze to death. Luckily, our actress is AI, so I don't think she'll complain. Once we've gathered all the screenshots we need, we'll move on to the next step. We'll turn these background angles into scenes for our film. The next step is generating images for the initial video frame. Here we will use OpenArt, which brings all the cutting edge image and video models together in one place. So we can test different models without switching tools and pick the best result. In OpenArt under image, click create image. And on the image panel, let's switch the image model. And for this workflow, I am testing both Nano Banana and C Train. So these are the most advanced image editing models right now, which give you more precision and consistency with the reference images you upload. But neither is perfect. You usually need a few generations to get what you want. So I like to try both and compare results. Next, we'll upload our reference images. I uploaded my main character and the cat and also the background screenshot for the first scene. For the first shot, I wrote the simple prompt like this. And then here we will set the aspect ratio to 16 by 9 for a cinematic frame and choose how many images to generate and hit create. Uh, when I tested both models, Nano Banana in here gave us a more cinematic look, which I like. The Sea Dream actually gave a sharper and more high resolution image. So in this case, I prefer the Nano Banana version for this particular scene. But sometimes Sea Dream does perform better. It really depends on the scene and your prompt. For the second shot, I want the woman to look out the window. I adjusted the prompt accordingly in here. Side view of the woman standing at the window inside the winter cabin. So other than describing the scene, I would always attach, keep the angle of the cabin consistent with the reference image. I find that sometimes it keeps the angle more consistent, but it's not 100%. Again, I tested both models. In this case, Nano Banana had the cat pasted in like a sticker somehow, and it doesn't look very convincing. Sea Dream integrated the characters more naturally, but the trade-off was that the background didn't always follow my reference image, and the angle could shift if the prompt was too open to interpretation. So I adjusted the prompt to be more specific in terms of the positioning of the woman, and I regenerated a few times before I landed on a shot I like. I think this one is okay. So that's the reality with AI image generation. Even with the advanced models, backgrounds don't always stay consistent even if you specifically say so. I would say the hit rate for me is one out of three. So you have to pick the best one from a batch still, but it's already a lot better than before. So in total, I generated five scenes this way to demonstrate how screenshots from a 3D world can serve as consistent backgrounds for character shots. Let me know if you think th they are consistent enough. Once we're happy with our images, the next step is to animate them into video. In OpenR, we'll switch to the video section. There are many models to choose from, and my usual go-tos are C-Dance and Cling 2.1. But for this one, I want to try VO3 because it gives the most natural and ultra realistic result. And also it can generate dialogue with natural lip sync and I want to see if I can do that. So let's upload this image and set up our prompt. I'll include the dialogue directly in the prompt and toggle on the audio and set the resolution to 1080p. And I chose the fast model because I, I want a quicker turnaround. So with the same process, I generated a few clips edited them together in CapCut. Not every sync from VO3 gave me proper lip sync as I wanted. I don't want to waste credits, so I, on I only have one clip that is lip sync. But when it worked, the speech looks supernatural. The downside of VO3 is that you can't pick the voice yet. So when you generate different ones, then you want to use the voice in there. There will be variation in terms of voices like this. I don't know how long I've been here. I can see the mountains. I can even see the village below. Sometimes I wonder if what I see outside 
is even real. To fix that, I exported the audio from CapCut and ran it through 11 Labs voice changer feature to unify the dialogue into one consistent voice. Then I drop it back into CapCut and will also mute or delete the original voice and added music and then we finish the edit. I don't know how long I've been here. Just me and my cat. I can see the mountains. I can even see the village below. Sometimes I wonder if what I see outside is even real. If this is all just a simulation, who's watching me? And that's my workflow to create consistent characters in consistent environment. I hope you found it useful. Check out the links down in description. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.